Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Samantha back here saying a big hello and I hope life is treating you well as always. Um, I'm back in my conservatory today and just looking out of the window and we have some sunshine. Yeah, so I'm really happy about that. I love the fact that spring, fingers crossed and touch everything that's wooden, <laughs> is back on its way. Um, looking out in the garden, we've got some really pretty um, pink flowers on a bush. I have no idea what they are. I'm, a gard I'm not a gardener um, by any stretch of the imagination. So maybe somebody can tell me what these guys actually are. I'll put a picture up for you. Um, so I hope the weather is fine where you are and spring is coming if you're in the northern hemisphere. Today, I thought we would have a look at this gorgeous link. Um, not really sure what to call this. It's like a, a teardrop type of link, as you can see here. And I use these all sorts of different things, really. You can flatten them like I've done here. A bit of texture on them again or you can leave them rounded just the round wire and wire wrap some little beads inside again this is a beginner tutorial and i'm just sort of throwing out some ideas for beginners here um nothing too taxing which is um what i like to do really really simple to do but they look incredibly effective don't they okay so and also you can make these flat instead of these guys are twisted let me show you so this part is flat and then the hoop here is twisted so that these guys lie flat or you can make them with the loop and the hoop here in the same direction so you can use them as um, connector links for things like um, necklaces like I've done with this one here beautiful textured spiral here with this gorgeous link okay or indeed you can just use them for things like little charms on the end of earrings like i've done here okay all right so i will show you what you need to make to, to use to make these guys okay so i just move these out of the way as usual we like to use our one millimeter copper wire don't we <laughs> so one one millimeter 18 gauge copper wire You'll need just a simple ruler to measure out your lengths. You will need a six step bail making plier. Actually, one of my subscribers asked um, what size this was, um, and I use a two to nine millimeter, okay, for this particular tutorial. Once you know what you're doing, you can use this one or some are three to 10 millimeter, okay? So for this purpose, this is a two to nine. You'll need some flush cutters, as always, and I suggest two pairs of chain nose pliers for things just, you know, just for faffing about with and doing and opening and closing jump rings and things like that. OK, and if you want to hammer your little links, you'll need a simple, small bench block, very affordable and a simple, affordable chasing hammer. OK, but we'll go through that a bit later. So without further ado, let's uh, let's head on into making these gorgeous links. OK, so I'll see you in a sec. So we're back. All right. So um, in order to make these beautiful teardrop links, OK, you're going to need nine centimetres of wire. OK, so let's take our one millimetre wire. Give it a stretch. Now you don't need to flush cut the end of this one actually because it gets hidden in the wrap. All right, so take your ruler and measure out approximately nine centimeters of wire. Okay. Now what we need to do is to find two centimeters from the end. Now I generally just eyeball mine i sort of pop my wire there and i call that my two centimeters bare beginner if you want to um, mark that with a sharpie then that will give you really consistent size links okay because you want all of these guys to be the same size don't you so what we do now is again 
I'm using two to nine millimeter um, six step bone making pliers. So the instructions I'm using today will be based upon this particular size, okay? So I'll be using the third step. All right, so on the two centimeter mark, place your wire like so and bend it round so that it meets your, your you know, the, the long piece of wire here, okay? So this is what we have. Okay, so we now come in with our chain nose. And what we want to be doing is to bend this long piece away from us. So place your plier literally just at the end of this short piece. So you can just barely see the tip. I don't know if you can see that, is that focusing okay? We want to bend this wire away from us, but instead of bending it in line, you want to bend it slightly away from yourself. Okay, so I hope this picks up on the camera. So slightly away. Okay, did you get that? So that it looks like this. If you bend it in line with that, it will bend this way and we don't want that. So when you're bending it, take this long piece and bend it just slightly to the left or the right if you're left handed. OK, so that we're left with that. I hope you can see how that looks. OK. So. Using the first step on your plier, place it just here and we're doing essentially a wire wrap loop but all the time making sure that this small piece here is close to the other piece so keep these together bend it towards you and you want to bend it in line with this left hand bar here okay so if you bend it round can you see how that's in line rotate your plier so that we have this and bend it over to make a wire wrapped loop. Okay, so you have this on this side and this here. Okay, now we want to make sure that this shorter section here is as close to this wire as possible. Can you see that? And then we come in with our chain nose and holding this loop firmly, I want to be wrapping that round, winding it round to encompass this guy under here, okay? So we do this by hand because it's, it's easier to do, okay? So gently and carefully making sure that you encapsulate, you capture that free little piece of wire. We wind it round wind it round and I do it three full times and then underneath. Okay, so can you see how that works? So this is the free wire here, the shorter piece that's now captured under these wraps here. Okay, so we turn it under on the back side and snip this wire in between the, this gap here, okay, because you're going to be folding it slightly in. So snip, okay, can you see how that, that snip is just in, in the middle? So when you come in to tidy that up, it goes slightly so you can't feel the sharp parts, okay? So that's your first link made, okay? Simple as that. How does that look? So I'll make a second one now, so I'll show you how to link the two together. This is such a sturdy wire, you can hang pretty much anything off this. So again, nine centimetres of wire. Okay. We don't need to flush cut. Okay, there we go, nine centimetres. So we principle's the same. We do the same thing. 
Measure your two centimetres and come in with your third step, okay? Bend the wire around until it meets like so. Okay, this is what we're looking for. So this is the part where we attach the chain, essentially, if you want to make a chain. So we pop the small hoop over so that it's attached, okay? And then essentially we do the same thing. Come in with your chain nose so that your little piece here is just at the end of your chain nose and bend this wire slightly to the left so that you get a proper, a proper angle on it, okay, like so. You see that? Again, making sure that these two little wires are touching. Come in with your first step. Make a loop in line with this left hand bar here. Bend it over. Okay, so that we have we have this. Again, chain nose and ensuring that the this little wire is tucked right in. Start with your wind. Go around three times. And then back under. Okay, adjusting it as you go if you need to. And then snip in the middle. Just about there, mind your eyes as always. And then just tuck that guy in. Okay, so there we have how to do this gorgeous teardrop link and to link them up. Okay, how cute does that look? If you wanted to now, you can hammer each one of these. So you would bring in your block, give it a bit of a hammer, and then move that to the left, give it a little bit of a hammer. So each time you add a link, you can hammer the links as you go. Okay, so how beautiful is that? So I've used that, uh, that style of link with this beautiful pendant, okay? But I've made them individually. So and you make each one individually so that you can wire wrap the little beaded stations in between, okay? So the only thing you need to do is when you make them, just twist so that these guys are in line with each other okay that's it so i hope you have lots of fun making these and um, they're great to use in various projects um, necklaces bracelets that kind of thing and you can actually make them slightly larger or if you are very daring <laughs> you can make them slightly smaller so i hope you have lots of fun and i will see you in my next video have a lovely day guys and thanks for watching